So if you're like me and you've got your first little coal factory up and running, but you've quickly come to realization that it's nowhere near enough power for the amount your factory is expanding, you're not exactly sure where to build your mega coal plant. Well, don't worry, because in this episode, we're going to cover the best location for this mega coal plant and everything you will need, and a little bit more information on the best way to make it the most efficient. But first, before we go through all of that, there's a couple of things I want to do first in preparation. So I want to head over to the MAM and we want to go into Quartz. Now, I do want to unlock these Blade Runners, but as you can see, I am just five silica away from researching them. But hopefully, en route to this location for the coal plant, we will come across them. So we shouldn't be far off getting that done. And then over here in the Alien Organisms, I want to get myself a the rebar gun which I should have enough resources I just need to grab some rotors and some reinforced iron plates so now we've got everything we need we can head over to the rebar gun and we can get that researched and there we go okay perfect so now we should be able to craft one of those so what do we need here we need some screws so better go and get some screws okay so we have some screws in hand so now we can craft ourselves the rebar gun and we are going to need some iron rebars as well i'll probably just do 100 that should be uh, plenty for now so we're just going to quickly get rid of the extras and then we will go through a little bit more information on how this coal plant is going to come about. Okay, so first things first, we're going to talk about coal generator efficiency, which is something that I kind of struggled with, even with this small little setup, which I've got three water extractors coming down to here, just on the little lake close by into my coal generators. Okay, so I've provided some visualization as I explain this just to help everyone out. So from a a Mark 1 miner on a normal coal node, we will be producing 60 coal per minute. Now, if we split that into three coal generators, each of those coal generators will be taking 20 coal per minute. Now, coal isn't really the issue as the coal generators will burn them quite evenly anyway. Our issue when it comes to efficiency is the water extractor. So as you can see, each coal generator at a clock speed of 100%, each of them will require 50 per minute of water. Now, if we add them together, that equals 150 per minute. And as you can see here, the water extractor will only provide 120 per minute. So what we need to do to make this more efficient is to set all of the coal generators down to 88% clock speed. This will bring each coal generator down to 40 water per minute, which we have to times that by three, that will equal 120, which matches the water extractor absolutely perfectly. So the build we're going for, you might feel is a bit excessive and don't worry, we're not going to build it all now. This is a lot of future planning and will last us quite a long time in the game. But as you can see here, with the location that I have found and chosen, we have four normal coal nodes so we can use four miners. Now using the efficiency method that I just showed you before, this will equal 180 coal generators and 60 water extractors. And as I said, you probably are thinking it's overkill, but like I said, I am planning for the future. And trust me, I'm pretty sure you're along me with this one, but I'm fed up of running out of power as I expand my factory. So once this is all actually built, we will have just over two and a half thousand megawatts of power, which should be plenty to keep you running for a long, long time. So for the start, we are going to aim for two miners. So we're going to break it down into each miners. So we're going to have two of these setups. Now the plan I am showing you, this is using the Mark III miners. And this is kind of the way you want to forward plan so you don't have to keep changing everything, um, you know, sort of layouts or adding extractors, adding coal generators. If you prepare yourself so that you can just literally one click the belts and one click the miner to upgrade them, then this will just save you a lot of time in the future. So as we can see here, we have a miner producing coal and this will produce 600 coal now what our plan will be is to split this three ways so we'll have 200 going to the first lot of coal generators 200 a second and 200 and a third so overall one coal miner will supply coal to 45 generators now bearing in mind that this is going to take in consideration all of the coal generators are set at 88% which is what we worked out before is the more most efficient way to do it so we're going to split these down into three sets of 15. Now there is a reason for this. It's all to do with efficiency. 
So as we know, each water extractor provides 120, so if we have five of them in a row, that will produce 600 water. Now with our generator set at 88% efficiency and each requiring 40 water, if we do 40 times by 15, that will equal a total of 600, which is exactly the amount that five water extractors will provide at 120 water per minute. So that's why we want to do it literally in this setup. This is the most efficient way to do it. So we want three sets of 15 coal generators and three sets of five water extractors per miner providing us with coal. So hopefully with the visual aid that makes everything a bit more clear and a bit easier to understand. So now you're probably wondering where I'm going to build such a huge power plant with four coal nodes available and a lake big enough for all our water extractors. Well after exploring the map and of course you know a little help from the internet and much of the satisfactory community I have found that the blue crater will be the perfect location for this build. So that is going to be where we're going to head off now. So if we open up our map, I know that the blue crater is somewhere over in this direction that I haven't explored yet. So we're going to head on over there. Um, it's going to be quite quite a little bit of a walk, but that's obviously why I want the Blade Runners at some point. So we're going to head over into the east direction. Now we have everything sorted. So let's head on out and let's go and find the blue crater. Let's see what this rebar gun can do then. Oh yeah. Oh, I love this rebar gun. Two hits at long range. Don't have to get too close to him either. Oh, we've got a spitter on our hands. Should be able to take care of this one at long distance. So, I don't know if that was quite two or three hits. But even so, plenty of enemies over in this direction. Okay, looks like we've got some weird looking things over here. I've never come across these before, so this should be interesting. Right, they, they are quick little buggers, they are. They are very quick. They take a few hits. So, that's a stinger. That's ideal, because I think we should be able to um, research them, because I don't know if I have them already yet. Oh, okay. We've got some weird looking things over here. Wow, they are hurting me bad, they are definitely want to keep my distance from these, don't I? These are horrible little things. Hey, so it looks like we've come across another crash site. There is some motors over here, some cables, and we've also found a drop pod, but it looks like we need 30 megawatts of power. So I think what we'll do is we'll just open up our map and we'll mark this one. I think we'll just mark this one for now and we'll just put crash site here. Okay everyone, so we have made it to the blue crater. So if we open up a map, as you can see here, from where I started, which was all the way over here, it's quite a lengthy way to go. Now I have just noticed that we have got another crash site over here, so let's go and have a look and see what we have over here. Okay, so let's have a look and see what we have over here. So we have some screws, so that's nice. We've got some reinforced iron plates, we'll definitely take them. And it looks like we also have another drop pod over here and it needs four rubber. Okay, so we're a little way off that at the moment, I think. Not sure how we make rubber. So this is the great big lake. And then if we scan for our coal, uh, we should have some around here somewhere. We should have four nodes of coal. Yes, over in that direction. So let's head over there. Okay, so here we are, the other side of the lake. Let's just scan our coal again, just double check. Yes, we have four nodes right here. So yeah, we've got one node over here. Uh, we've got one there. And we've got um, two over here as well. Just at the back there. So absolutely perfect. That's our four nodes that we definitely end up needing. So let's head over here and have a little overview. And come up with a plan. I think we should definitely get rid of this guy. We've got another crash light over there as well. That's kind of cool. Let's get rid of this guy first. Running out of... Um, Running out of rebar. Ah, uh, he's gone. Okay, so this is going to be our nice big work area. So what I'm going to do is have a bit of a clear out. I'm going to get my chainsaw out, get rid of some of these uh, this vegetation. And then I will come up with a plan for the foundations and we'll work out how we're going to build it all. Okay, so after some planning, I'm just going to show on screen now what the what the plan will be so this is our 60 water extractors 
and this is our foundation layout so i want to go 25 foundations across from west to east and then want to go 42 foundations towards the north and what i might do is extend this 25 foundations because instead of just having a gap of two around the water extractors i might go for a gap of three each side so i might go to 27 foundations this way what we're going to do is go ahead and get that started so we're going to start with the four meter foundations and um, just because obviously i'm probably going to do some foundations over here to these coal so we probably want to you know start at a fairly high level so i think what we'll do is we'll place it about there okay, so that's two placed down there and now we just need another 25 so we'll go for a 10 that way and then we'll go for the last five five if we can get it there and then we need to go 42 in this direction over here so i'll get the outline done i'll do the border around the water extractors and then i'll show you how we're going to place the foundations for the water extractors okay so that's our foundation border down so we've got a 25 by 42 i did want to do 27 but we're kind of limited to a little bit of space so i've gone back to the 25 so we've got a border of two foundation wide along the 42 and we've got a five foundation wide along the 25 section so now we're going to play around with the foundations for the water extractors so what we need to do is get it two meters under the water so if we place a foundation here we know it's going to be on top of the water what we need to do is get a two meter foundation and that will bring the bottom layer down one meter and then we need another one meter foundation to place just underneath it like that and if we bring that out with the zoop function that will be perfectly in place so i want to fill the complete inside of this now with these one meter foundations under the water as they are like this one thing i may have forgot to mention is don't worry about this kind of looking ugly i plan to delete all of these foundations once we have the water extractors in place it's just easier to snap the water extractors to the grid with foundations so that's the only reason why we're doing this okay so once you've all finished it should look something like this so these raised foundations here were a to help place the ones underwater but also these will become the walkways so we've got a three wide grid here underwater for extractors and then we've got a six wide grid here that's because the water extractors will go back to back here okay, so we know the water extractors are 26 meters high so we want to give us plenty of headroom but i think we'll go for 10 balls high so it'll be a nice 40 meters it'll give us plenty of headroom kind of make it feel a bit more spacious as well so what we're going to do with the walls is we're going to place them on the edge because i want the logistics floor to be the same size as the ground floor here so i'll get done with that and then we'll see how it all looks okay so we've kind of hit a little bit of an issue we've um completely ran out of and near enough run out of iron plates so i'm gonna take a trip back um hopefully everything has still been in production i've had enough power to withstand it before we head on back we've got some research to do so we're gonna head over to the mum so blade runners we can get them researched and then hopefully we can um we can make them perfect now we can head back and we can finish our foundations once we equip these blade runners and we'll see how this performs oh yes we are so much quicker and um, we can jump so much further as well uh this is going to make taking trips a whole lot easier that's for sure okay so i've done the majority of the foundations for logistics floor but obviously i want to keep hold of some iron plates and concrete for the coal production floor so i think for the logistics floor i'll probably only go um 10 meters high let's just have a look and see how that looks two meter there yeah i think that should be high enough maybe even eight meters i do kind of like how that looks so we'll just go along that way for now so i'll just show you the visual plan for the coal generators themselves going to be doing a 49 by 29 grid the reason why we're doing 49 by 29 is so we can have a border around the generators of four foundations wide and that's basically the only reason just because from the inside it will look quite nice if i do it that way so i'm going to get sort of one half of it done then I'm going to run back, grab some resources that we need, and we can start placing down some water extractors, some generators, and get one of the miners set up and the conveyor belts done. And there we go, that's half of the final layer where the coal generators will sit. That's that complete. So as you can see, it overhangs a little bit, but our coal is just over here. There we go, so we've got 
one, two, three, four nodes over there. So we're going to get some foundations done at the bottom so we can lead the coal production up to the middle floor just here. So we need to run some conveyor belts up here. Back to what I am going to do, I've kind of come up with a little idea. What I'm going to do is start from the top here. What we're going to do is we're going to start here, I think with two meter foundations build sort of a platform and a bridge across and then maybe have a stairwell going up and a stairwell going down just go across like that so i'm going to get this little bit of foundation sorted i'm going to get the bridge across and then we'll work out the logistics with the conveyor belt to there and then we'll probably have to head back we'll get some coal generators placed down on this half so we can work out the logistics of the conveyor belt and then we'll start putting some water extractor down and we'll start getting all this lot built up and put up and then start powering our factory okay so we're back with all the stuff that we need 15 coal generators um five water extractors i did put 15 but i mean five and we can get a minor setup as well so we can get it all underway so first of all we want the coal generators as i said before the way i designed this is we want a four by four gap around each of the generators so we've got one two three and we've got four here and then we want to go for this way so it's going to sit around about here so that one is perfect where it is so we can get that one built and then we basically just need to place all the rest of them next to each other so we'll get 15 of these all down okay so that's our last lot of 15 down and then for the next set of 15 we want another three foundation gap so one two three and the next one will go here that's the first lot of coal generators all sorted now what we want to do is sort it out so we can see where our pipes and everything else are going to lay and what we want to do is basically set it perfectly like that just so it's in line with them bars so i want to do that for each of them as well and then we'll be doing the same for the floor pipe holes just so we can see it from underneath and we can know exactly where we are placing our conveyor belts and our water pipes Okay, so now that we have all our holes in the floor, what we can do is finish it off by doing some pipes. So what you want to do is change it to noodle. That will allow you to snap onto it pretty easy. So we'll get all of these done um, and then up here is pretty much sorted for now. So from here what we want is we want a Mark II lift and what we want to do is just select the floor just like that. I want to do that for all of these. Okay, so that's all of them done and they all seem to be connected quite nicely. So now we can head over and sort our miners out and then start laying the conveyor belt down. So I'm just going to start with a Mark 1 miner for the moment and what I'm going to do is just overclock it so it does produce the desired amount that we need. We're going to go for there. And that's that sorted oh looks like we have a little friend who's just decided to kindly interrupt us i need to be careful because i am pretty low on health at the moment okay so that's him dealt with okay so what i might do to make it kind of in the middle is bring it out in this direction so we're going to go for mark two belt because we are going to overclock this we're going to bring it to there and then we're going to bring it round to here so a rule if anyone didn't know what you want to do is say you want the corner to be here what you want to do is want to go back to and then that will bring a nice right angle curve all the way down and we'll just go along as far as we can and then we'll just carry on bringing this all the way across and then i think what i am going to do actually i'm going to put a lift here and i think we'll go up just like that and that should bring it perfectly there okay so next what we want to do is we want to bring it over to here and we will just sort our lifts out. So once our lifts are in place, we want to start with just five for now. We could use the manifold method, but I'm gonna try out the load method just cause I want them to fill up equally and have them all taking the same amount. Okay, so first of all, what we're going to need is a splitter and this one is going to split into each three of these. I do want it kind of compact as possible. And then we're gonna get our conveyor belt and we're just going to go like this, another one this side, back to, and there we go. We've got that nice and clean. And then we want our splitter in line with this one here. So there we go. So we'll go along here, make sure it's a nice right angle. 
So from here, what we need is another splitter and I'm going to try and put it in the middle as I can. Out there looks good. Okay. And now this one will split into these. We just want to make sure we've got a nice right angle as usual. Make some nice right angles. That looks nice and clean. Back two to make it a nice right angle. Okay. And next what we need is a merger. Pull it nice and central in the middle go from here back into this merger here and there we go so basically this looks very complicated but it is kind of simple so what i'll probably do is extend this belt into the middle and then use a splitter and split it three ways but i thought i'd just showcase this just for now before we do it so if it's split three ways from 120 we will have 40 come here so this will be split into 20 and 20 so 20 this way will then be split into three which means that roughly each of these will be taking six or seven coal and same with these two here and then it will loop back so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to finish this and i'll show you how it looks afterwards okay so there we have it that's all of the load systems all done and dusted i've also put some um, pipes just down so we can see where they're going to end up for the extractors but now let's go ahead and um, power up our miner let's go ahead and um, get a biomass burner just plonk it down here for now and then we'll just connect that to the miner and what we're going to do is just set up the miner make sure we're overclocking this to 250 percent so we've got 150 per minute which kind of works out a little bit better i thought that was 120 but it's not we'll just chuck in this lot for now and then once we are flowing i will show you how it all looks so here it is our coal is arriving and as we can see, it will split evenly three ways. Now let's go ahead and watch how this load balancing works. Here it is, and it will split three ways so that it will distribute evenly. This will be a lot quicker with obviously a Mark III miner, or even a Mark II miner actually, that'll be even quicker. So as you can see, this one will loop round and it will reinsert itself into the belt. And then once this is all stuck up and full, it will move relatively smoothly. So let's head on down into the depths and we'll sort the auto extractors out. So as you can see, we have some holes in the floor where our pipes will be. You'll just have to excuse the amount of fog. Let's get some water extractors down first of all. So we'll get just five down for now, I think will be a good place to start as we only need five for the 15 generators we have anyway. Okay, so we have our five water extractors down. Um, I wasn't recording the placement, but basically this is how you want it. So you want to start with the first one with where this like little vent thing is there. You just want the ladder just on the inside of that. And then you can place five down here. And then obviously when you get to this section, you want to basically leave a gap of three foundations wide. And you want to copy that one there, where you want to kind of leave a gap about three quarters away through. Or if you want to start from that end, do your five this side, and then you can build walkways in the middle. So next, what we're going to have to do is link all of these together. And then once we've linked them all together, obviously you want to bear in mind to want to link these five here as well. So what you want to do is link your pipe just like this can we see yes that's pretty perfect so that's where we want the first one we just want to basically repeat this process for all of them we want to make sure they're all in line with the heads okay so now we've done that we can connect all these with pipes okay so i've had a little play around and this is basically the design i've come up with so we've linked them all just like this all the way along to this side so basically this is a design i've come up with now i've kind of placed this in the wrong place so i'm going to do it from up here i'm going to build myself a little plant room so i'm going to place this one over here to start with and then what i'm going to do is use that as a reference and copy it onto this floor here so that should now be in line so we can delete that one and then now what we can do is connect this pipe from here to here straight down yeah that looks okay so now what we want to do is head back down and just sort out how it looks underneath so we're going to get another water extractor out one two three here kind of three quarters away the length of this one probably about there so yeah that's perfectly in the middle that works out quite nicely for now what we'll do is we'll put our pipeline support here and then we can go straight up and we can link these two together so there we go so we know that we have a 
10 meter head lift on the water extractors so we will need a pump in line with that so we'll get that plumbed in there and then i'll go ahead and move all of these out okay so i've rearranged all of them that looks good so let's go and check on our coal production that's all linked up now so hopefully we head back up here it should be all plumbed in and ready to rock and roll into our generators so as you can see our coal is all nicely fully stacked now so let's go ahead and um, we'll grab our biomass burner and then when we've grabbed our biomass burner we can power up the water pumps and then hopefully it should all link together okay so for some reason my microphone bugged out and i was recording a little bit but just to um, recap we did power up the biomass burner to power some of our water pumps we had a little bit of an issue with the head lift so i had to install another pump but that pump seems to be working pretty good and um, we seem to have everything all up and running we're going to check our generators all working properly and then get it all wired up so it's self-sustainable so let's see what we have going on so yep it's burning fuel we're not getting a lot of water though out of um, them extractors but we are only running on three so if we can get the other two powered up that should be a pretty much good to go let's see what kind of flow we've got at this pipe so we have got a lot of water in that pipe um, there isn't much flow though so i am guessing we might need another pump maybe just to increase the flow a little bit let's um see if we can link these water pumps all together so okay so that's all hooked up lovely so that doesn't seem to be doing anything which means we should be running on our generators now they all seem to be going quite nicely now the water amount is pretty low but that might be an issue with the way that we have it plumbed up we might need to just work on that let's see what we've got uh, we have got quite a little bit of water in there but doesn't seem to be quite enough I think that's more of a head lift problem but yep that's basically the basics of beginning the mega coal production we probably do need to upgrade our pipes and stuff but that's not too much of an issue so hopefully you have learned a lot in this video this did take me a while to plan and a while to figure things out i know it's been a rather long video but trust me it's been a lot longer for me than it has for you just because of the joys of editing but hopefully you have liked this video if you have make sure you hit that like button make sure you subscribe as well because i've got plenty more satisfactory content coming it's been kryptonite here thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next video.